So now let's see how we can work around with screen space reflection options inside of Blender. So to do that, I'm just going to delete out this cube and I'm going to go around, press shift A on my keyboard. And then let's say I'm going to go around and bring in something like a Taurus right here, which I'm going to play around with. I'm also going to bring in a plane by going around into mess. I'm going to bring in a plane. I'm going to press S on and my keyboard and then scale it out. And to see the reflection, I'm going to go around onto my render mode right here. And then over here, EV is selected as you can see. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and then I'm going to turn this into metallic so that I can see the reflections. So I'm going to go around over here, add in a new material, and then I'm going to turn this metallic right over here. So once I do this, I'm going to change uh, the uh, roughness right here all the way down, just like this so that I can see the reflection. Maybe I want to change the base color a bit, just like this. And to see the reflection, I'm going to go around into the render uh, engine that is, I'm going to go around into render properties, and then I'm going to enable screen space reflection. And you can see that this is what you see. So you see the reflection of the Taurus right here. So now, since this is a real time render, not everything is reflected as you can see. So to cheat the system, you can go around and expand this out right here. You can turn out half res stress right here, which actually uh, increases the level of detail on the reflection as you can see. And the other thing that you can do is you can change around the properties right here to make uh, the reflection more blur or more clear as you can see. And then you can change this around as well, even change around the thickness so that you can see that uh, it makes it seem as if more object is being ref uh, reflected. This is not perfect, but it makes uh, the whole reflection thing much more natural as you can see right here. You can go around and change that around. You can work around with the edges right here and work around with the clamping as well. And just like that, you can change around how the object is reflected out right here. So if I were to go around and then let's say, for example, press if D, you can see that there's more reflection there uh, with that property right there. So just like that, you can see that the reflection becomes much more realistic with all of these out right here. And that is how you can work around with screen space reflection options inside of Blender. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.